Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your bonus read for uh, Monday the 27th of May. So May's nearly finished now, so we're already at the end of month five and I feel like it's only like five minutes since Christmas and the new year. It's very cold here now in Australia. Um, it's been, oh the blues, the, the festival we went to, which was really sort of blues, folk, and country sort of music but it was was so much fun um but it dropped down to about eight degrees on the first night by about i don't know eight o'clock or something um and it was so cold waiting for because it didn't finish till 10 and they of course had the best people on last so my goodness it was so cold i very very nearly died <laughs> oh i'm too old for this Oh, no, I actually really, really enjoyed it. I had so much fun. Okay, let's have a look. I'm using the Pagan Tarot for your bonus read this morning. Oh, beautiful. We have the Nine of Cups coming out here. So, of course, this talks about wishes coming true. Um, and for my friends out there, this is really about having all your ducks in a row. You were, you've got them in the row for, for the Ten of Cups. You're nearly there. So... And behind that, we have the Four of Wands, which, of course, talks about stability. Um, behind that, we have the Seven of Cups. So that's sort of like um, illusion, delusion and confusion. And we do have the Two of Pentacles here. So this is about making a decision, balancing out a decision. There's some sort of illusion here, though, um, some sort of dream state, waking out of dreams and coming into some sort of reality here. Uh, maybe you've been living a life that's built on false, um, built on a false um, basis, built on. OK, let me just explain that a little bit further. This is about a wish coming true. And it's very much to do with yourself, because what you're doing in this wish, something's coming in for you that is going to move you from a life of illusion. So it's like you are building stability from what you've learned. So for the people who are going to resonate with this, this is build, you've built your life on a false foundation, basically. You've built your life in some sort of illusion. Sometimes it can be um, about love. So for example, if you've always been taught that love is a beautiful thing and everything is rosy and whatever else, um, and that's how you think love should be. So you've rejected relationships because they haven't fitted that mould. And it's about you learning that you're, you're, you've built an unsafe foundation for yourself or you've built a foundation that really doesn't suit your needs or, your, or who you are. So something is about to be offered here that is going to give you an opportunity or an understanding how to build your life or your yourself in a much more stable way. So that could be, um, you know, maybe you've lived in a lot of emotion all your life and you've been very emotional about situations or served yourself with your emotions and now you're realising that having a much more structured approach to life will help you move through it a lot more easily and leave you less pain, that type of thing. But anyway, um, we'll see what it says in the reading here. So we do have the Nine of Swords coming out first. Now, this Nine of Swords is a card of um, oh, anxiety, stress, not being able to sleep nights. Um, it's a card that talks about overanalysis and paralysis, not being able to free yourself from overthinking. Okay, so we have an Emperor card coming in here. Now, the Emperor can be a person that you know, um, or it can be achieving a state of stability. Um, this person is well respected, uh, knowledgeable, has a really good understanding of the world. Could be somebody you seek advice from or who gives you advice in how to move forward. Sometimes the emperor can be someone who is part of the twin flame relationship, um, the male component. Um, this person is bringing in a truth here because you have a an opportunity to move forward and stand in your truth. Okay, story is about is starting to take shape. Okay, so we have a hermit card here, which of course talks about taking time out to heal, to grow, to understand by shining a light on the dark, dusty places. 
Okay, Queen of Pentacles coming in here. So you could be dealing with an Earth sign. You could be an Earth sign. Remember, it's only a general reading. But more likely, this card is showing that you are feeling very grounded, very um, very comfortable in yourself, very uh, stable on your earthly plane. So feet firmly on the ground here, no longer up in the clouds. The strength card, because you're building some sort of inner strength here. You're starting to understand your inner self. Beautiful. Seven of Wands coming in here. Um, this is feeling like you don't have to defend yourself anymore. Isn't that interesting? This is like having this understanding that you don't have to go through life defending your position. If you're a person who's been bullied a lot in the past or pushed around a lot in the past, this is coming to the realization that you don't have to you don't have to deal with this. You can just let it go. It's emotion. Let's just get a bit further into it here. Two of Swords. Yeah, you have a you have the opportunity here to cut things out and move forward. Yet yeah, there's some sort of karmic exchange here of gifts. Okay, and we have the Five of Cups. So this is about looking back at the past with regret. But I feel like here, it's like no more doing that. This is very, very much a reading about yourself. For some of you here, and it's funny because I mentioned emotion up the front. For some of you here, emotion has become a very strong part of who you are. And the universe is going to show you a way of working with this so that you no longer feel bullied or defensive about the people around you. And maybe that's the way you've always been. But it's about understanding how to work with that energy. So it's like you have made a choice here to cut things out or move forward. And you may have been cutting out all the things that didn't serve you when in fact you have the opportunity here to do something in yourself that will help you move through this more so. Wow, this is really deep. I've got messages coming in everywhere here. Um, you have built a faulty foundation. So you have you believe that you're you lead with your emotions. And the universe is saying that's not how you work with your emotions. So it's like you manage everything through your emotions and you're not you don't need to do that. The universe is trying to bring in a new start for you where you start to understand your world through your own personal strength. This is something karmic that you've got to you've got to work through to get to this point. But there's like relief here. There's like energy here that you've not known before because you're able to start understanding how your emotions play a bigger part someone's taught you this so it could be you know a mother or father figure who've taught you that everything needs to be managed with emotion so you might be overly responsive overly um, emotional towards things you may be more likely to um, you know, burst out crying before you've really thought through what's happening rather than handling it in a very assertive way and the universe here is trying to bring you this understanding of how you do things so you can respond differently to how things happen. This has been a matter of stripping back some sort of karma here. But I don't think it's your karma. I think you're dealing with karma that may have gone through a few generations. So if you've had a parent who was very narcissistic or a mother who was narcissistic and the other parent was quite bullied, you could have had two parents that were, that were very narcissistic. But or too emotional but what's happened is you've grown up with this understanding that you respond with your emotions to things so if somebody says something that upsets you you immediately go to emotions rather than um, standing or defending yourself in a way that is much more how would you say it's like you're learning to manage things through this strength of character rather than this weakness that you have learned from others. That's what they're trying to say. So 
it's like when somebody says something, instead of stopping and saying, you just hurt my feelings then, you know, there was no need to do that, you've gone straight to emotions. And I can relate to this very strongly at the moment um, because this is emotive behaviour. This looking back at the past with regret, this will stop this from happening. So because you're an emotional, you use emotion as your first point of call, you regret things. So you overthink them because you've stepped into this sort of persona that you've learned to respond to things as. So you may respond in a way that causes you to go back and, um, and regret what you've said or done because you haven't done it in this very assertive way here. So it sort of makes sense to me because oh, I was talking to somebody the other day about how people are uh, the card that's come out is follow your heart. So your heart and your emotions, even though they are strongly connected, are not two of the one of the same thing. So you can have an open heart without being overly emotional. This is learnt, learnt emotion, a learnt way of responding or reacting. Very interesting. Have a great day, everyone.